Hello and welcome back to the channel. We continue our visit through the Black Forest, and from the Abbey and the Waterfalls of Allerheiligen, we put again direction to the south and in half an hour approximately. We arrive at a small town of about 25,000 inhabitants, which although they are not known as other places in the Black Forest, more famous and visited, their visit is worth the visit. Then we went to Freudenstadt. In Freudenstadt it is very complicated to park for free, as the whole city is full of parking meters, and we opt to park in a very large parking underground that is located in the center of the city. Freudenstadt, which could be translated as the City of Joy, was founded in 1599 by the Duke Frederick, who followed the typical Italian urban structure. In Freudenstadt is mainly highlighted its large square, the Marktplatz or Square of the Market, which with measures of 219 by 216 meters is the largest square in Germany. It is divided into three parts, the lower square, the upper square and the post office square. In the lower square, apart from its size, the first thing that draws attention is its Protestant church. A curious building of angular form and perfectly symmetrical, built in the 15th century and rebuilt after the Second World War where it was quite damaged. It is a real pleasure to walk around the square, with large gardens very well in, and surrounded by Renaissance-style porches where small bars and shops are housed. As a curiosity, in this lower square in the year 1999, Coinciding with the 400th anniversary of the city, a fountain of 50 jets of water was built, which although in the summer has to be very refreshing, you have to have a little care in the winter, if you do not want to take a shake as it happened to Lola. Next to the lower square is the upper square, which, although smaller, is equally beautiful. In this square you will find, among others, the Town Hall, where the Museum of History of the City is located, a totally recommended visit. From the square we climb a small hill, where we find the Rosenweg, the Rose Trail at the highest altitude in Germany made by the city's own inhabitants and in which the purest air of all Germany is considered to be breathed. Alongside the Rosenweg, we find the Herzog Friedrich Tower. Built in 1899 on the occasion of the 300th anniversary of the city, and to which you can go up free of charge to its top, and where we will have a spectacular panorama. Ending here our visit to Freudenstadt, beautiful place enclaved in the heart of the Black Forest and totally recommended. From Freudenstadt, we will head again south by a small but spectacular valley, formed by the succession of several small rivers and that make our tour of about 30 kilometers to our next point of visit, enjoy a spectacular landscape.
Enjoying the landscape and crossing small villages, we arrive at Shiltak. As for parking there is no problem, you have a free and spacious parking, from which you can start the visit, and that as always I leave you its location in Google Maps. Shiltak, which has about 4,000 inhabitants, is enclaved in the confluence of the Kinzig and Shiltak rivers, and is considered one of the most beautiful villages in the Black Forest. Already from the parking lot, we can appreciate the beauty of this place, which has preserved almost intact its medieval historical center, filled with wooden houses, built between the 16th and 19th centuries. On the banks of the Kinzig River, we enjoy the beginning of our visit to a place immersed in nature. On the banks of the Kinzig River, we can enjoy free of charge a museum dedicated to the exploitation and processing of wood since Shiltak was an important point of the commercial traffic of wood. Crossing the road parallel to the railway, we arrive at a small walk surrounded by trees, in which we have a beautiful panorama of the city, highlighting above all its Protestant church one of the largest and most magnificent of Baden. By a small bridge we cross the Kinzig River again passing, next to the Wood Museum, to make a visit to the center of the city. A quick visit since we had little time. In the center is mainly its Marktplatz, a beautiful triangular shaped square. In it I can observe the beauty of its colorful houses at the historic center, highlighting among all the town hall, where we can see an impressive mural that tells us the history of the city. As we visited in May, we encountered the traditional Maibaum, a trunk or tree decorated with Ganalda and tape, and an essential part of the spring festivities in the region. From the square we continue walking through the historic center, where we enjoy the spectacularity of their houses with wooden trunk, and which make this small but not so well-known village, one of the most beautiful of the Black Forest. <laughs> 